Yo, I'm gonna keep the words short, but the video long just so you can see these mods in action. These spawn mods are more enemies and one we've featured before called Endless Warfare. Now, Endless Warfare only works in the Commonwealth area, not in Far Harbor or Nuka World. This is where the mod More Enemies comes in. See, Endless Warfare adds lots of unique spawn points beyond default. But More Enemies works with the default spawn points, and this is how you have spawns that are also in Far Harbor and Nuka World. You can use both and they don't conflict with each other. However, you may not want to ramp up these settings all crazy because just these two mods with their initial spawn settings can be massive. More enemies gives you a reason to use those new grenades and those mines that you rarely have any need to use otherwise. There's a lot of things I had to now prepare for in terms of health, ability, weapon types, and stealth as it gets real tricky. The combo of these mods along with weather mods like Vivid Weathers really makes for an interesting mix. Some of the fog weather will have some of the enemies looking around for you and have you lost trying to find a safe place to fight from. Gotta be strategic. So I'm gonna just roll that beautiful bean footage and let you all see what it's all about. Oh, before I forget, make sure you have the Endless Warfare DLC conflict patch, which will fix issues caused by the Endless Warfare mod in two areas that were added or changed by DLC. It will undo changes made to a few locations from the Endless Warfare mod that causes severe glitches to DLC modified locations. Now, Let's get to the war. There's more to come.
forget to like this video, comment on it below, share it with others, and most of all, subscribe. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. It's too big.